Chocolate is a great tasting treat and is yummy to eat. But have you ever thought about using chocolate to explore perimeter and area? Why do most chocolate blocks come in the same size? We are going to use perimeter and area to find out. A standard chocolate block can be divided up into 40 squares. Here we have one square. When we talk about the area of a shape, we are measuring how much space the shape's surface covers. This chocolate square has an area of one square. What about the perimeter? The perimeter measures the combined length of the shape's edges. This chocolate square has one, two, three, four sides, so it has a perimeter of four. What if I put two chocolate squares together? This new shape has an area of two squares. It has one, two, three, four, five, six sides, giving it a perimeter of six. In a normal bar of chocolate, there are 40 squares. These squares are usually arranged into eight columns and five rows. This gives the shape an area of 40 squares. But what about the perimeter? If I add the side lengths of five, five, eight, and eight, I get a perimeter of 26. What if I arranged the squares into a different shape? Can I arrange these same 40 squares so that they have a different perimeter? This arrangement has 10 columns and 4 rows, which gives an area of 40. But is the perimeter different? If I add the sides of 4, 4, 10 and 10, I get a perimeter of 28. So my first arrangement gave me an area of 40 but a perimeter of 26 and my second arrangement also had 40 squares but this time it gave me a perimeter of 28. What if I arranged the squares again into two rows of 20 columns? Again I have an area of 40 squares but this time I have a new perimeter which equals 44. Arranging the squares into one row of 40 columns is so long that I can't even fit it onto the page. I still have an area of 40, but this time I have a perimeter of 82. Remember, this first shape had a perimeter of 26 squares, and this second shape had a perimeter of 82. Yet they both used 40 squares. So I can have the same area of 40 squares, but have a different perimeter each time I change the way the squares are arranged. But which one had the smallest perimeter? This one used 40 squares, but had the smallest perimeter of 26. No wonder so many chocolate blocks look like this. They're much easier to pack. So there's our problem solved. But the big question is, can you work out why the perimeter changes?